obviously very quickly. How much did you see today? Uh, well, the most important thing, I guess, from my point of view is that we finished the game off. I thought last week, uh, as good as we were, we, uh, we probably stopped at three-quarter time, but it was important that we, um, we took good form into next week. So, you know, we can finally talk about finals. You know, we've been trying to, or well, you guys have been trying to probably bait us for a, for a, for a few weeks. Um, it's here, you know, it's September. It's um, time to turn up the heat and uh, time to play some finals footy. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready as we can be. I mean, we... Uh, we get Vince and uh, Walker back next week. Um, Henderson's going to play uh, tomorrow. So, um, you know, also Brody Martin, uh, Andy Otten, those sort of guys are back. So we're as well prepared as what we can probably be. Um, it's nice to, to, win a, to win a big game, get through injury free and to uh, secure a home final. Um, I know Geelong helped us out with that, but at the same time, uh, we probably deserve to play a uh, home final this week, which is great. You, you talk about finals September being different. Uh, oh, it's a good question. I mean, probably a question more so for Ian as well because he's played a lot of finals footy. But the um, the game does change. It just becomes, uh, I guess, brutal at times. Just got to ensure that we're uh, we're hard at the contest, and that's how we've trained from the first training session in October last year. We've we've made sure our boys know how to win contests. Uh, there won't be too many tricks, I don't think, through September. It's just um, it's just the battle of uh, of one system against another system and. Hopefully we've prepared, uh, prepared our players to, to be able to combat that. What about you, Ian? What do you think about the team's readiness for finals? Yeah, I think we're ready. Like uh, like Sando said, it uh, obviously goes up another gear with with finals footy. It's um, you know I think Sando's prepared the group, you know, tremendously well from where we were last year to uh, to where we are this year. So um, I think we're ready for that, and um, yeah, I'm sure the whole the whole club's excited about it. And was it pleasing that, that I guess as a playing group you were able to keep the foot on the accelerator right through today? Yeah, no doubt. It's something that we spoke about last week about trying to finish the game off, and we, we didn't achieve that. So it's um, something we did speak about at three quarter time, and um, yeah, we, we did a great job in the end. What will it mean for the players to play playing final as opposed to playing elsewhere? Oh, at the end of the day, um, you know, obviously you want to play at home, but at the end of the day you just play where you play. So um, you know, we got Sydney, and um, you know they're a great contested ball side. So um, you know we'll have to be on our game, but. Um, Hopefully all our fans can come out and um, you know we can we can repay the faith that they've showed in us all year. Do you think in a tight game it could give you a bit of an edge? Ah, oh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You just got to play play your role in, in the side and just play the way that we want to play. And if um, you know we believe that's good enough to win the game. Brendan, the decision with Taylor Walker, how did you work through that one? Yeah, it was a close one because Taylor's in in really great form and he just didn't just didn't get over a, a bit of a hip niggle if that's, that's what you want to call it, but. We gave him a little run this morning and uh, probably just felt that it wasn't the right decision to play him and risk him. Um, probably better just to just to ensure that he's he's ready to play next week. And same call with Vince. You know, Vince um, Vince has got a little bit of fluid on the knee, but nothing serious. And we'll certainly get those two guys back next week. Is the reason why you subbed out Target? Uh, Gold Coast uh, called their sub first, and they 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 subbed at all. So there's probably a couple of guys we were looking at who wanted to manage their game time, if, if at all possible. And the, the call was made easier for us when they subbed the tall out. So that, um, yeah, that, that enabled us to give, to give Dan a spell. He's had a fantastic season, a lot of game time, never misses a beat at training. So yeah, it was a chance for us just to, just to sub him. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you. Benton, in the last couple of weeks, would you have preferred to have played Teams in the top eight in the lead up to the yeah, it's a good question. Probably not. I mean, it's, we've just got to, and you ask the players, every game they play is, is really difficult. Like, there's the hits are just as hard if you're playing Gold Coast as if you're playing Collingwood or Hawthorne or, or Sydney. So, we've got to get ourselves up mentally and physically every week for, for, an, a, for a certain opponent. Um, we were given our draw. Uh, we've had a good season. We've finished uh, equal top or, you know, second on percentage. So, um, I hope it's not a cliche, but the season for us starts now, and you know every team starts on zero wins. There's eight teams left. Uh, things get hot now. Things really start to heat up. So it's in, it's important that our players recover well, uh, and we throw everything at Sydney we can this week. You know we know the stakes are high, um, so it's important that yeah we prepare ourselves really well this week. You Sydney being negative, did twenty one goals last the twenty one. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, I mean, we hit the post, I don't know, six times or something. We hit the post a lot. 
Um, we kicked a couple of fluky ones though, but we also missed some ones that we should convert. So I think still 43 scoring shots from 59 entries probably reflects um, you know how well these boys are working well, uh, how well they're working together down there. There's there's a tremendous chemistry. I mean, we didn't have Walker and Vince there today, uh, but those boys just really work well together, you know, and we get the ball to them quickly. Um, when we get it to them one-on-one, -on -one, they they win more contests than they lose, which is something I'm really happy about. Ian, hey, what's the key to that? Um, obviously, Sando touching on how well you're working together. Is it communication or what, what will you put it down to? Yeah, I think you're spot on. It's, um, you know, we've got a pretty young group down there and a big leader of that is probably Taylor Walker. Um, you know, that might sound surprising, but that's an area that he's really worked hard on and he's just... Uh, Built, built a great rapport with the whole playing group, and, and Mark Bickley's been super. You know, he's a um, he's a funny guy, and he, he gets gets the best out of the whole group. And you know, we love being around each other. We spend a lot of time together, and um, yeah, obviously we kicked a fair few points today, but I'm sure we'll work hard on that this week, and uh, hopefully we can rectify it. From your point of view, nice to get amongst a few goals again. Yeah, it's always nice to get on the end of a few, but at the end of the day, it's um, it's all about the team, and um, you know, I'm sure if um, if I'm not kicking them, someone else is kicking them. How hungry are you to do the same next week? Um, yeah, I'm, you know, every, every, average footballer wants to play well every week. So, um, you know, everyone's playing for their spot. You want to play well. So, um, you know, it's going to be a, a really hard game, and uh, hopefully, we can get on the end of a few. Brendan, two of your long season starts. How do you, how do you the players make them appreciate the 22 games beforehand, but not live off them? Well, the, the home and away season uh, purely is to put yourself in the best position to play well in September. So when we started back in October, it's all about the next four weeks. So what we've been able to do is secure a double chance in a home final. So that's a tick. But forget about what's happened in the past. Everything starts now by looking forward. So we'll, we'll certainly review this week's game. But um, I mean, we've, we've had an eye on those top two or three sides for the last sort of three, four, five weeks. Um, we've just got to make sure now that, that without getting anxious and without getting too uptight about it, um, that we that we prepare this week um, like our life depends upon it. Is this match up with Sydney the ultimate brutal battle of contested footy? It'd be good. It'd be a really good test for us because that's what Sydney's trademark is too. You know, they they're a great contested ball side. They tackle hard. Uh, they're going to provide uh, provide us with a with a with a really great opponent next week. So yeah, we'll we'll have to be at our best to to get the win next week. What's given them that? Our side? Yeah. Um, it's a good question. Um, probably just that I've emphasised along with the coaches that that's what's important in September, that you win contested ball. So we've exposed our players to a lot of contested ball situations right from the start of pre-season. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, we've dodged a few bullets with injuries along the way, but we've exposed our players to how finals are played. So whether we're good enough, we'll have to wait and see. But um, I guess from my point of view, we've prepared our players as best that we can. Previously said Talia won the or wins the rising star on today's performance. Does Dangerfield take out the round? Uh, yeah, it's a tough call because um, I thought I think Dangerfield's had a great had a great season. So has Scotty Thompson. Um, it's funny though. We always talk team here. It's it's easy for me to come in a press conference and talk about Dangerfield and Thompson, but gee, what about Matty Wright, Richard Douglas? Um, you know, uh, Jacobs' year in the rucks has been sensational. So um, we've had, you know, Rory Sloan, uh, Van Berlo. We've, we've just got great depth through our midfield. And um, but having said that, uh, you'd think Dangerfield and Thompson would get the three and two from the umpires today. So it's going to be an exciting night if uh, if they're two or three behind coming into that last round. Brendan, you've played in the grand final, been part of Geelong's finals campaigns in recent years. How do you feel now, personally? You're more nervous than ever before. I'm um, certainly ready. Um, just got to make sure. I think that, as I said, there's a lot of anxiety that can sometimes be associated with finals, that you can sometimes wind yourself up too much. Some players would like to talk about this is just another week. Other players would rather walk towards it, you know, not shy away from it. So we'll just get the balance right this week, you know, we won't go over the top. We'll just ensure that we're ready for September and it's a really important game for us. Uh, we really need all our fans here. I mean, we. We've got to get this place rocking next uh, next Saturday. Uh, we've got to make sure that there's a sellout um, and there's not one Sydney Swans fan that's allowed in the gates because we just we buy every ticket. So we've got to make sure that.
we get a lot of uh, fan support next week. I know it's going to be a great build up in this in this city this week. So we just got to make sure we get our fans here and we make some noise. Um, yeah, a little bit of both. We'll certainly look at how the Swans structure up, but also too we'll have a look what works best for us. Um, I mean, the boys played really well today, but you'd think that Walker and Vince would come back into our side. So, uh, waiting on any injuries, but at this stage, yeah, it'll be it'll be a really difficult um, selection this week. The ideal player to play against. Uh, player that wins contests. Ian, um, you had some great snaps of goal today. Do you prefer? Um, Doing him on the run rather than the set shot? Uh, no, not really. I'm uh, not phased either way. Is it nice to have no time to think about it? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Did you go back to Harlem to kick that one today? Uh, probably not, no. <laughs> 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 it was a good kick though, because it's a tough pocket to kick him from there, so um, yeah. you never look what I'm missing. Brent, so how much? always stands up in September. Who's, who's the player you would nominate as the one who could surprise everyone? Um, yeah, it's too hard to call. I think the strength of this group is that we play well as a team. Each player understands their role. You're right, there's always a fairy tale in September. Um, it's hard to know who that might be. I mean, let's rewind 12 months. Uh, Ian Cullinan's kicked 38 goals um, and played almost every game for us this year. What an amazing story. So. And now he uh, embarks on his on his first AFL finals campaign. You know, after playing in so many premierships for Centrals, it's um, it's a great opportunity for, for Ian to uh, to enjoy his first finals campaign as a as a 29 year old. 29, 29 year old. I mean, that's that's one story in a lot of stories you could dig up over the next three or four weeks about about this group. In terms of rejuvenating players, have you done that with John Cop as well? Um, oh, yes and no. I mean, he's uh, he's um, he's an incredible talent and had a great career here. Uh, through a lot of different reasons, he's found himself forward in the second half of the year. And I know his four goals today were important. And he's certainly got class. He's got the hard edge. Um, he loves the big stage. So um, he's an important player for us in the second or in this this new season. Brendan, have you found out pretty well everything there is to find out about each other with your support? Oh, as much as I can. Yeah, I think um, I think we're well prepared. Um, as I said, being injury free coming into September is really important and being in form coming into September is important too. So, um, yeah, we, we've got a lot of confidence going forward. Do you have any question marks about any aspects of some players? No, not so much. Not so much. Well, I mean, we'll have to be at our best without question. Um, but when we play well as a team, we normally get the result we're after. You've used a lot of players this year, so you have a lot of options. Yeah, it's good. Managed to look at 38 different players this year, which is um, which is something that I planned for or we planned for. Uh, we've exposed a lot of players to AFL football, and we know we've answered a lot of questions in some regards. So, yeah, we're certainly well prepared. Uh, Brent, when I asked Dean Bailey earlier in the year, he was setting up a footy program. As coach, who's the next most important person in the program? He said the fitness coach. How much are they worth? Uh, that's a good question. I hadn't really thought about that. I mean, we, we, uh, we, I've got great support around me. You know, surely we're losing to the Gold Coast, which is unfortunate because um, we'd love to keep him. But um, uh, I've got a great group of assistant coaches who support me. You know, Dean Bailey, Scott Camparelli, Bickley, Milburn. I've uh, got some great uh, development coaches. Matty Clark does a great job with the Rucks. So it is, it is a team effort and it does, you can't, put too much emphasis in one certain department, but uh, to prepare our side for September without any injuries is, is a bloody good effort. Would you pay them more than an assistant coach? Um, I don't pay the bills. You'd have to ask the CEO. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Uh, The report. You've got us to pause. <laughs>